The NBA announced today that Miles Bridges has been suspended for 30 games without pay as a result of a domestic violence incident involving the mother of his children. Miles pled no contest to a felony domestic violence charge. The internet went crazy when pictures of his baby's mother's face surfaced and she looked really bad. Even more outrage was sparked when his son appeared on camera, seeming to confirm the allegations. The incident, it occurred almost at the exact same time that Bridges became a restricted free agent last summer, and he has since remained unsigned to any team. And as a part of the NBA's ruling today, 20 of the games that Bridges has already been suspended, they are deemed as already served. So that means if he signs an NBA contract, he will only be required to miss the first 10 games before being eligible to play. So Miles now can sign with any team. The question is, will he rejoin the Hornets? Because they seem like they still want him. Something we'll be talking about 30 years from now. Your Hornets pick up the W. They are now two and two on this road trip. The Hornets. To the dismay of many fans, Charlotte never threw Miles Bridges under the bus. And that made other fans happy because they said innocent till proven guilty. If Miles comes back, this could play a big role in Melo staying in Charlotte. I'm going to show you LaMelo's latest interview where they not only ask him about the draft and the players in the draft and his ankle injury update, but they also ask him about re-signing in Charlotte, what it's going to take for him to stay, how big a role does winning play in this whole thing, and he answers. On off with the injuries and the ending of the injury in February, how are you able to kind of process this season and the emotions that went, especially with how well you did play when you were out on the court? Uh, still good. Probably just big summer, you know, trying to get back healthy, and then pretty much just look forward to next season. What did you think about the games you did play? Were obviously very, very good. What did you think about kind of the strides you made from last season to this season, from kind of a basketball standpoint? Uh, it was pretty much just fun out there playing basketball. Like I said, pretty much just focusing on getting healthy. Oh, what a uh, we saw you in the booth. What did they talk to you about kind of your timetable about when you get out of the booth, when you start wrapping everything up? Listen, you should be good by preseason, but what's kind of the summer looking like for you? Uh, yeah, pretty much that and then just listening to the trainers and then go from there. What do you think having the number one overall pick would mean to this organization and what you could possibly do going forward if you guys get some lottery luck here in 38 days? Uh, definitely a lot. I mean... I feel like we all know what's going on, so with the first pick, definitely could help a lot. Have you watched any of those guys? Oh, yeah, I've seen a few, for real. And then even with the little March Madness, watched a couple games, so you've seen, seen a couple people. Anybody jump out to you? Uh, you know, like the first first five, like pretty much like every draft. Clifford mentioned, um, I guess, how upset you get with losing, how much you don't like losing, how much it bothers you. All right. Just three years now, obviously, you guys have got to the playoffs. Just what's it been like to not get to that point, and how do you pitch that next year? Uh, pretty much just take it as learning lessons. Can't really get too down on yourself, you know. So go into next season and just, you know, make playoffs. You guys talked about that at all? Uh, yeah, they, I mean, they've been talking about it since I've been here, since definitely a lot since Cliff got here. So you're just more and more. How much do you guys do need that experience? Kind of, I mean, obviously, the playoffs is what you want to do. It's what you play for. Right. But to get that experience for someone like yourself who's still young, how, how important is it for you to be able to get that experience next year and beyond? Uh, I'm pretty much just focused on making it. I mean, experience just is just being there pretty much. A lot of guys drafted in your spot are, are judged historically based on making the franchise better than when they got there. And is that something you think about, like wanting to be there? Here in Charlotte? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Mamela, you addressed this a little bit earlier, but how much do you want to be in Charlotte long term? Do you feel like this is the place for you? NBA uh, play about a day. I mean, I, like I said, I love it out here, so I mean, I can't really tell the future. Just see how it goes and go from there. To follow up on that. You know, Cliff earlier was asked about it. He said, you know, it's critical that we start winning, you know, to, to kind of keep you around. You're right. So around. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, for sure, definitely. I mean, main thing is winning. I feel like life is better when you win. So, yeah, pretty much the main thing is definitely winning. The pressure is on in Charlotte. Are you happy with the 30-game suspension that Miles Bridges received? 
Do you think it should be more or less? And do you think the Hornets take him back with open arms and in return, LaMelo stays in Charlotte? I just hope that Miles stays out of this type of trouble because it's not good for anyone. There are always two sides of the story as well. He had some things to say about her and the reason that things went down. But unless you were in the room, I guess we'll never know completely. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ball facts again. Peace.